Okay, welcome back. This is Dr. Prepper, and this is part two of my Why I Buy Silver video videos. And uh, if you got through that first rant I, I had in the first video, then I welcome you back and glad you stayed with it. I hope to bring you some insight on why I, I purchased silver. Um, I do want to let you know that I spent uh, many months studying it and making sure that I was doing the right thing because, you know, I'm, I like to make sure I don't throw away my money even though my wife says I do. <laughs> but she didn't think I threw away my money on this toy right here because she loves it. And I love it too. Um, so anyway, the reason I buy silver is a, a storage of wealth, for lack of a better word. Um, I don't do it as an investment. I'm not expecting to make millions of dollars off of it. Um, I've kind of gotten away from the whole I need to, to have a lot of stuff mentality. Um, I'm not looking to get rich. Um, you know, I just want to make sure that I have something in my hands if, you know, the economy c collapses or, you know, whatever reason. I mean, I, I, surely I can make some money off it later, sell it, and make a couple bucks, and that's fine with me. I'm I'm good either way. If I do, I do. If I don't, it goes down to nothing. I don't care. Um, I don't believe that'll happen. I don't think any of you believe that'll happen. Um, but weird things have happened recently, so who knows. But the best thing about it, I think, is... Um, when I finally pass from this great earth and go see my father in heaven, hopefully I'll make it to heaven, um, I will leave all this metal and guns and everything I own to my children and I, I think it's a great way to um, pass on, you know, what I have to them. I, I, I You know, while, yeah, I could give them the limited amount of cash I have and some life insurance and stuff like that. Um, I think this is a great investment for them in the future. Um, they've all sat around the table here with me and we've talked about things and the way things are today and uh, and they understand the, the value of these coins and I believe they're going to do well with them. So, um, But in in the in the sense of in the sense of what's going to happen in the future, if things collapse and we go into some kind of shit hit the fan or, or uh, without rule of law situation, and uh, I don't expect that to last, you know, too long a year, two years, maybe three at the most, and we finally come back together and and straighten things out. Um, I believe when you come out of that, out of the end of that um, cycle, that precious metals will be worth a lot more. I, I'm not looking to trade them during the during the events that could be coming to us. But hey, if I need to, if I need to buy a chicken or or a donkey or something to tend my land then I'll uh, trade this for that if I can find somebody that would. Um, not everybody's going to want to trade for that. They're going to want something, you know, that they can use. Um, but there are a lot of people out there that understand the value of silver and gold. And, and throughout history, it's always been a value uh, in, in these kinds of shit that hit the fan situations. And there have been many in this in this world, and you can do research on those and find out just what silver and gold played in those those times. So, but I'm looking to come out of the uh, out of the mess um, with some valuable um, startup money through silver and gold. So, if, if that makes sense to you, I, I guess what I'm saying is, when uh, after the shit hits the fan, then we're gonna we're gonna come out of it, and and I think we're gonna end up back on the gold and silver standard. Um, we we really have no choice at this point. We really need to get back to that 
to that way and uh, this whole printing unlimited amounts of dollars just this whole experiment has not worked we're finally at the end of that road so but again I just uh, hope you all uh, got something from this and the reason why I do it uh, again I'm not a big investor I'm not looking to make a killing off this and you know I don't uh, buy it to make money but everyone wants to make some something out of it in the end but um, my main concern are my children and, and hopefully this will help them you know after I uh, meet my maker so um, I plan on leaving everything to them there's six of them three for my first marriage and three for my wife's first marriage we're the Brady Bunch and uh, <laughs> they're all grown now and starting their own families and uh, I've been working with my grandson and he collects coins and uh, he's eight years old and he's getting into it. So. And I hope that uh, one day he'll uh, understand the value of money, real money, and understand uh, uh, the situations and um, I think he's on a good road. I, I hope that all of you spend time with your grandchildren and explain to them the uh, importance of family and faith and not stuff um, we need to get away from stuff and really get our spiritual minds straight and, and uh, that's about it I, ho I hope uh, you got something out of this video um, I recommend you go to if you're thinking about investing in anything like this you go to uh, brother John F his channel and uh, just watch some of his videos. They're kind of long, they're like 30 minutes long, but uh, they're very interesting and he explains it very well. And I think he's a common sense kind of guy. He he doesn't seem like the guy that's you know out shilling for um, silver companies, just trying to sell the product. He he's uh, I think he understands what's going on in the world. So anyway, this is Dr. Prepper, and I uh, hope you enjoyed my video. And we'll see you later. Thanks, guys.